So the big obvious tube with the cartilage ladder in it is the trachea. If you pull out the trachea, this flap here is the epiglottis that keeps the flaps closed or open depending on whether cat's eating or breathing. And inside, we have these two big hard things that you want to call the vocal cords. Now those are actually the false vocal cords and they have the cartilage that supports the vocal cords. The true vocal cords are more down in here and they're more muscular, tissue, flappy business rather than that hard cartilage. Um, try to get a good angle, but there's a vocal cord right there. I don't know if you can really see in there, but it's the only thing in there if you were to pin it on a practical. Yeah. Um, so that's trachea. And trachea leads you to lungs. And there are three paired lung lobes and one unpaired one. Lung lobes are easy. You have anterior, right and left, middle, right and left. And then posterior. All right. Sorry, that one's part of the middle. And then this one is posterior, right and left. And then this one little guy in the middle, that's the accessory. So, that little accessory guy, it's the only unpaired one. The rest of them are pretty easy. So, anterior, middle, and posterior. Um, and then diaphragm. That's easy. You know what that do. Um, so I think that's all the respiratory stuff, right? Coming out from the testis is the spermatic cord, um, which is the ductus deferens, the spermatic artery, and the spermatic vein. Um, so it's only the spermatic cord when all three of those are there. But it shoots along here. Doop, 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 doop and then enters into the body somewhere over here, but comes out over here. So there's spermatic artery, and your spermatic vein is not super exciting looking there, but that's okay. But then that's your ductus deferens. And so you've got one on each side, ductus deferens over here. But they come together and sort of meet and hang out behind the bladder here. Um, so they make kind of this little T-shape back here. And then run down behind the bladder. And then come together. Oh, I'm just going to try to free some of this up. But come together and meet the urethra here at the prostate gland. Um, so the bladder leads to the urethra down here. And so they all meet at the prostate gland, and that's how the spermies get where they're going. Um, urethra continues on down here, choo, 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 choo. and then down here on either side, you've got a little swelling kind of at the base, and that's the bulbourethral gland or the Cowper's gland. Um, they provide some of the seminal fluids and some more stuff to help the spermies get where they're going. And then this is about where it kind of exits the body and where it would have been in that furry pocket. Um, and that's body of the, or the majority of the penis. And then right here at the end is the glans penis. And you can't see it super well, but it's got a barbed spiky tip, which is a little alarming, but that's what they've got. <laughs> that's how he stimulates the female to ovulate. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Sexual>. <laughs> All right, so this is your ovary here. The membrane wrapped around the ovary is the ostium. So that's the ovary in the ostium. And then that white tube that's kind of coming around here, especially you see it right here, that is your oviduct, which leads into one of the horns of the uterus. You've got horns of the uterus on either side. And so the uterus meets in the body of the uterus. Now, if your cat was really pregnant, you'd have a lot of big swellings there. Um, but body of the uterus. And then somewhere around here, right about here, is where you have the cervix. And that's what separates the body of the uterus from the vagina. So up here is uterus, down here is vagina. And then, so you have your bladder and your urethra. 
where the urethra and the vagina meet, right around here, is where you start calling all of this urogenital sinus. So this is all your genital sinus here until you get to the exterior vulva. And then there's a rectal, or an anal gland. Yay. Um, and I think that's it for reproductive.